Good evening everybody, my opponent for this game will be Hanson with 45 wins. And hello hello again and welcome to Shattered Temple. I am as always, as you can see, I am Largo please, spawning is the blue Zerg in the top position and in the left position we do have Hanson, the red Zerg. This is a game I played just recently, maybe 10 minutes ago. It was quite intense, a really fun to play and I wanted to share it with you guys. So let's see what is going on right here. As you can see, suddenly Hal Halson is just saving Larva, he's doing nothing right now. And that of course means that he's getting an early pool. And boom, there is his 8 pool. And in the meantime I'm just joining up, being happy thinking that I will win this game and as you can see I'm scouting down here I do see that he is not right here check it from creep as well and we'll fly down here and of course he's scouting down here he knows that I am not in close by air position but he's of course going in an early pool not knowing where I am I might uh, as well be as, as cross position but of course I am not as you can see I'm, and I am sending out a scout to see what's going on I did scout here and I always scout close position if he isn't there and we're just high-fiving on the way there with our drones my pool is on the way it is a third in pool if you look at this boom his pool well there we go boom his pool is down a lot of zerglings is on the way I scout in here and I do see this let's see what I saw yeah I saw the pool and I was like that's not good news for me six zerglings on the way and I'm still droning up but I will start saving my larva here as well because I did scout that and I do not want to die so the first first thing I will do of course is get queen and I will get some zerglings out and try to get up some spine crawlers for defense but as you can see zerglings is already m they are at my ramp just running straight into my base and there we go my pool is finally done I'm starting one spine two Okay, almost two spines. There we go. Two spines is on the way. It is time to do the drone dance here as well. That is always very, very annoying. If you could unit sub, I'm still ahead with a few drones, but of course I have to fight here. And more servings is coming from him. And he's going from a pool and getting some servings out, and he tries to run away, and I'm able to start mining once again. But he's actually putting down a spine crawler down here, and that is not good for me not at all and uh, I'm losing some drones here I'm still up by two but uh, well we see how I will end this I'm getting my queen out she is very very suicidal so I have to run her back injecting and I need to get some zerglings out and he's moving this one up in the uh, range of my well, both my hatchery and my spawning pool not very very pleasant for me I'm moving one of my spine crawlers down I'm taking one time because I do not want to um, burrow both of them at the same time and if he's trying to attack this I can at least do something about it. But he's starting to poke away at my spawning pool and uh, losing the spawning pool that is bad in this situation because I need to fight him. I'm still up by two uh, in the drone count so I'm having a little more income. I'm going for this spine here trying to do something about it, dancing around quite a lot. But I need to kill that before it kills me. But I'm going in here with all my zerglings at it as well. And I'm actually able to take it out. But he has a lot of zerglings. I my queen will have to take this fight and he's going for the spawning pool at the same time. That is of course annoying in the meantime he is not doing anything at all. You can see he still has his eight Jones and that is it. I'm doing the queen down here trying to keep her alive. I'm actually losing this fine here as well. And my queen is just running around and she is dead as well. But I'm getting some a few servings out again to be able to defend and I'm going back to mining. And now I'm only one Joan ahead. And he's going for my pool. That is of course annoying and I'm misfigging, attacking my own pool. That is not the way you want to do it. I'm getting some more servings out and I'm able to fend this for now. But he is just reinforcing here. I'm trying to take this fight and getting a little, little better position. And he is forced to run away but he's still just rallying drones right up into my face. He's still on 8 drones so nothing more going on right there. But I'm only at 9 drones and my spawn pool is not looking very good here and he's going for it. And that is not something I want to lose at all. My queen is halfway done again. I have to take this fight once more and uh, he's building something. Let's see he's getting an expansion actually. 
that is not good for me. And once again, I misclick helping him here to get my spawning pool down. Well, down rather than down. And I'm actually almost losing it, but my queen is popping just at the right time. But I have to run around my queen here. And how will I f defend this? Well, I have to pull my drones off. There we go, some starting popping together with my queen and I'm able to fend this. My drones are still on the on the fray here. They need to get back to mining because this is not good for me. But I'm actually getting my spine crawl up again and it is in range here. I will be able to check everything that is close and this drone is just chilling up here. So that is not very good for me. And he's poking in here. I'm trying to defend and it is so tight right now. Only 102 hit points left and I'm really really broke at the moment and his expansion is almost done but he's still not joining up so I'm still up by one but I'm not mining but this guy should probably do that I'm trying to surround this because I do not want to lose lose it not at all but he has a lot of circlings here my queen is joining a fight my circling is fighting as well it's fine it's doing an amazing job here four kills so far but my spawning pool is down so I cannot produce any more defense whatsoever Right now, I need to collect some more money. I'm trying to inject. In the meantime, his expansion up. Is, if, if you look at the production key here, he's getting well some more drones here. And this will of course help him pull ahead in the economy game. And um, as you can see, I wasn't able to defend this properly, but I'm still in this game. I'm getting a new spawning pool. I'm saving up a lot of Lara, saving up some money as well, because I want to get starting out as soon as I can but he's moving in here once again he's going in for kill here my queen is doing an amazing job my spine crawler is um, still only at four four kills but he's doing the starting dance there and I will have to pull my Jones back pulling back to my mine on these stones instead and I'm just waiting I want my spawning pool to finish because I have quite a lot of money qu very much larva 11 larva right now so I will be able to get quite a few circlings out and there we go it pops and there we go 16 circlings on the way for me that will be just beautiful for me and that will help me defend I'm trying to run around here trying to get some cheap shots into his face and it's still going f after my drones that is of course annoying but there we go all my circlings pop out and I'm able to kill a lot a lot of his circlings and I'm getting even well well, he is the red one. Ah, uh, so he is getting a lot of circlings here, but uh, he's not very well defended here at all. But if you look at the units tab here, 23 drones to 9 drones. So his economy is just crushing me right now, and I have to do something about it. And I'm moving in. I'm just running r straight past here, trying to catch some of the circlings of guard, trying to get a better position going in for his main, because I know that uh, he probably have a lot of drones there. And in my main base I'm not doing very much at all, if you look at the production key I'm getting even more Serlings, he's getting 5 spine crawlers. But, um, but in the meantime th they are down here, the two that are finished, so they can't really help me right now. I'm going after his queen, I want to stop his uh, lot of production as much as possible. And I'm actually able to clean this up as well. He's getting even more spines, but I am in his face, going for his drones, he needs to pull them right off. Of course he pulls them down there and they will be quite safe. Uh, because he's finally will be able to reach me and I am losing my drones here. So he is far, far ahead here. As you can see, 12 drones to 20 drones. So his economy is much more strong than mine is. And he's getting even, he's just moving down here, building a wall of spine crawlers to be able to, to defend for anything that I can give him in his face. And uh, as you can see, one more spine in his main as well. So this base is quite well, well defended right now, one at each base and three in the front here. And I'm still only on 12 drones. I do have quite a few Sarlings here though, and what can I do with them? Oh, well, we will see if I can break his his front here and run in, because I need to finish this quite soon. If I'm not doing that, he will just overrun me, because he has a great economy. And his saturation is... Well, almost a double of mine and I'm getting gas as well and uh, only with one well not with three drones I'm only having well there we go some more drones popping for me we're taking the fighter and he's actually just when he's rearranging that is when I attack him and I'm able to once again sneak into his base and I would try to do some magic here 
I mean, look at production tab. Nothing coming out for me right now. I'm not sure what I'm doing. I'm having a lot of a lot of money. I'm poking around here to see what's going on. I want to keep him um, at his feet. And he's actually moving his things around here. And I'm able to... No, I'm not... I would have been able to sneak out there safe and sound. I cannot engage this. A lot of Zerglings and two Spines. That is not something I can engage right now. I'm poking around, seeing Zerglings, trying to fight a little. But I'm able to run away feeling safe. And I'm getting a Roach Warren here. Because that is what I think I really, really need right now. To be able to break this. Look at the unit sub once again. 26 stones to 14. So I'm still behind by 12. And that is a lot. And he is... 25 serlings as well, but I do once again have quite a few larvae here, 11 larvae, a lot of gas, a lot of minerals, and a lot of supply to use here. And as you can see, I, that is what I will do, that is what I was saving up for. If you look at the production here, 8 roaches is on the way, that is good news for me, because that means that I can deal a lot of damage to him. But he's moving in here, he wants to deal some damage to me, with all his serlings. He doesn't really know what's going on right now. He's moving in, but that is at the same time as my roaches pop, and I'm able to get into this fight with such an advantage here. My servants and my roaches are just smashing his armor here, and this is suddenly looking quite bad for him. I'm getting even more servants, some more roaches, and I will go on the offense here. And he is not macroing very well right now. So there we go, I'm taking all my forces, and I am moving out, getting even more roaches. He's getting 16 Zerglings, but I have bo both Zerglings and roaches, so I will be able to deal a lot, a lot of damage to him with that force. And he's actually getting a lair. Huh, who would have known? And he's getting an Auxiliary Hatcher as well, to be able to spend all his money. But I'm moving in here, I want to deal a lot of damage to him, and I want to do it right now. And I'm starting to fire at his Auxiliary Hatcher. And suddenly he's moving out with his queen. I want to snipe her. I'm moving back here. I'm just barely out of range of his spine crawlers. I'm able to deal a lot of damage. More roaches reinforcing. Sterlings reinforcing. Same time as you can see. I'm producing 10 sterlings and he's producing 20 sterlings. At the same time, I'm sacrificing my sterlings there. Well, sacrificing, I would just misclick them. And he's moving out there. I'm able to snipe some of the sterlings. In the meantime, one roach is going down. I will go for the spine. No problems at all. And I will be able to snipe some of his workers as well. And his queen is moving out. I will be able to kill that as well. And in the same time, I will be able to kill some of his drones as well. And that is great for me because I am so far behind still. But now, 14 to 19. 14 to 18. So I'm not f that far behind anymore. He's getting his serving speed. But I am actually going for a revenge here. I am going for his... Um, um, for his spawning pool, but at the same time he's just counter-attacking him, but I have a lot of Zerlings in my base, my spine crawlers, up to 6 kills now, my queen is helping here as well, so I'm able to clean that up in the meantime, I'm trying to not take any damage from his broodlings, and here we go, a lot of Zerlings once again, I'm able to kill them as well, he's still held by a, a few drones here, a bit greater saturation, and his Roach Warren is almost done now, so that means that he will be able to attack me as well, and I'm trying to snipe Queen here, but she refuses to die. So I'm moving in here with a lot of Zerlings, a lot of Roaches, to be able to... I'm actually want to kill his, um, kill his Queen uh, to hinder him from spending his money, uh, but he's quite well defended and will be able to pick this one off. My servants are just running into his main once again. He has one spine crawler here, I should probably go for that one. Getting going for the gas. He's, his roaches are popping out and he was able to build a lot of roaches. So I will not be able to defeat his force. It's not a chance and he's still on 18 drones and actually didn't lose any of his drones. In the meantime nothing special is going d down up here. I'm trying to produce as much forces as possible. Uh, but I'm still behind in economy and I have quite a lot of uh, resources as well, and my roaches are going down. Suddenly he's ha he has the upper hand here, I'm trying to get something out of my poor poor base. Should probably pull guys out of, there we go. Perfect, pulling guys out of uh, gas, I don't really need that gas right now. I have 300 gas and I'm low on minerals. And I know that he can just push me right now and win. So I need to get a lot of defense up and I need, need it really, really fast. But suddenly, 14 drones to 16 drones, I'm almost at the same drone count. There we go, 40, 
he's creating some, so now 14 to 20, so he's still pulling ahead here in the Joan count. That is, of course, not good news for me. Uh, and I should probably get an expansion, but I know that he has a great f great force than I have, so I need some defense, and here we go, I'm moving down to be able to get that expansion finally. Uh, but as you can see, 12 roaches to 10. Well, there we go. 13 roaches, so I will actually be able to defend this if he has if he attacks. Uh, but he isn't attacking right now, so that is good news for me, and I am on the move once again, and my queen is not doing her, her work at all in this game. And here we go, he's moving out there, and I will be able to send him away here. I'm trying to snipe some of the roaches, getting two of them, that is good news for me. But now 13 to 13 he is able to produce and uh, when he's we're playing in his base he will be able to reinforce much quicker than I am. I've been trying to snipe as many roads as possible. But uh, 11 to 11 so we're doing quite the same right now. But if we look at the produ production key here he has 3 more roaches on the way and I'm not reinforcing at all right now. And I'm focus fighting here trying to deal as much damage as possible and getting some servants as well. I need to run and I need to run now because I see these surlings and I am not looking very well. So I'm starting to run here, I'm trying to snipe some of the surlings because they are attacking me and I just don't want to just take damage and die with them. In the meantime, I'm trying to use some more roaches to be able to defend, but this hatchery is not looking very good right now. Will I be able to cancel it in time? Doesn't look like it. It finishes and he will, of course do the only right thing here and try to snipe that because that would actually be a huge deal but 23 drones to 15 he's able to drone up just a little and I am not so he's pulling further and further ahead each second right now based on that I'm trying to save this but he's doing this just beautiful cutting around and coming down here was able to kill some of his forces but he is able to kill my hatches so once again I'm down to my only single base. That is not where you want to be at this time of the game. I'm starting to get mine out here as well. I'm up to 15 drones. I'm trying to produce some drones as well. Getting my new hatchery here. I'm trying to pull out here. And, but as you can see I will not be able to break this anytime soon. Even with my reinforcements coming down here. I'm poking in here to see what he has. I'm trying to snipe something here with some micro. Hoping that that will do the trick. I'm actually able to kill some. Let's see on uh, units lost here. Uh, I'm much more cost effective right now. Um, he has lost almost well, over 2000 uh, resources more than I have but of course he has great economy so he can afford that and he's getting roach speed, getting serling speed, getting a lot of serlings right now and in the meantime I'm just trying to get my base running once and again and I really really need this expansion but he's just pulling ahead right now this does not look good for me at all. I'm trying to do some magic here, uh, hoping that he is not on hold position. Uh, okay, we're getting some lag here. And uh, I'm ab actually able to snipe some of his roaches here. That is great news for me. That is what I'm trying to do because that is what I have to do right now. He's so far ahead that I need to micro very, very well to be able to do this. And he's sending in one overlord here. I will be able to kill that. But he. Well, he, he doesn't really find anything new out at all. Uh, my expansion is done, so I'm able to get some more larvae, but that is not my problem. I'm, my problem is that I'm solo on drones. There we go, his overlord is going down. I'm pushing in here once again, trying to do some magic. But he has a much greater force. And I will actually have to run here. And I can't really produce anything at the moment. So, I should spread some creep. I really need some static defense right here. Because they are great and the support with the roaches, that is what I need. And I'm actually finally producing some drones. Five drones is on the way here. That is just what I need. If you look at the units count up, I'm still five drones behind. Uh, 22 drones to 20 drones. Let's see. Upgrade here. He is plus. Uh, he is zero zero. The same as me, but he has a lot of surlings. And more roaches than me. So I will not be able to defend this in a proper way. There's just no way that this will work. It's getting a beautiful concave here as well. The serving is moving in, taking a lot of damage and dealing some damage as well. And Joe's roaches are just smashing me. So I am going down. There we go. I'm GGing, leaving the game. 
And it basically comes down to that I wasn't able to, I should probably, f I w should have been able to finish it when I was in here in space killing a lot of stuff, but I just couldn't pull through in a good way. And he's finally able to overrun me. I couldn't get my expansion up, should probably grab that earlier when I was attacking. So he was able to pull so far ahead finally in the economy run. And if you look at uh, the units lost tab here in the end, even when he was just smashing me here, I'm still losing less than he is, even though he's just smashing he me here with his superior force. So it was really, really cost effective, but that doesn't really matter if he has that much more minerals and gas than you have. So that was a great game. I uh, enjoyed playing it. It was um, a bit annoying that I lost the spawning pool. That was a big deal if I have would have been able to say that. That might have shifted things in my favor. And of course it was a bit lucky with the close position, but you cannot just hope that well, we are far away, I hope, so I will not do. Um, I will go for an economy game. So it finally paid off for him when he managed to kill the spawning pool. I think that was a really, really important part of this game. And finally he was able to get his expansion, secure that, getting force strong enough to keep me at bay. I couldn't get an expansion up because I had to produce forces to be able to defend if he would have attacked. A bit annoying, but uh, at least a fun game. Very, very intense. A lot of micro. A lot of bad macro from my part as well. And that is actually everything I have for tonight. Thank you everybody and goodbye.